Olive Garden was a unique endeavor in its day. In stark contrast to most restaurants that had started as a small family owned place and has grown to a big company, Olive Garden actually started as a chain. The Italian chain was actually started by General Mills, the massive international food company that you've probably seen their logo on a lot of things like cereal. And it was on December 13th, 1982, when the first Olive Garden opened their doors in Orlando, Florida. The concept quickly took off and by 1989, they had 145 stores. And Olive Garden was soon the fastest growing restaurant chain in the General Mills restaurant division. And yes, I didn't know General Mills had a separate restaurant division either. And today it is actually called Darden's and they have a ton of restaurants such as Eddie V's Prime Seafood, the Capitol Grill, Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. But in the 90s, Olive Garden was struggling to keep afloat. They even reached a 12% decline. But then they just switched management and everything seemed to have gotten better. But the biggest aspect of their incline was that they got more recurring customers. Nevertheless, actually since 2010, casual dining has decreased. Fast food restaurants are having to get more and more innovative and the thought of a heavy Italian meal just isn't as appealing to us millennials. Fast food restaurants have had to get more and more creative as they've been on the decline. And then you see concepts like Olive Garden, which is just comforting, non-descriptive Italian food, which has actually lost its appeal with millennials. But they still have more than 800 locations and it's 57% of the annual revenue for that company Darden who owns them but it's still losing money. And to revamp the concept, they've started to appeal to the younger generation and younger families. The famous never ending pasta, which started in 2014 and has become a huge hit, gives unlimited pasta for seven weeks to some lucky folks. And in 2018, an IT worker saved over $2,000 with his pasta pass. These passes have become so coveted that they run out in minutes. For 2019, they sold over 23,000 pasta passes in less than one minute. We don't know where the future is going to take Olive Garden, but as of now, it is still one of America's beloved chains. And as of 2019, Olive Garden's parent company, Darden, is valued at $14.3 billion. And that's how Olive Garden started. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Austin Daniel Petrie.